Oh my god. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. Yep, okay. We got there eventually. Here on Daily Grace, and you know what that means. Look at her go. Reviewing, reviewing, reviewing something for you. I went on my Facebook. What? Do you guys know that I have a Facebook? Get real. I have another subscription to my Facebook page and asked you what did you want to see reviewed today and so many of you asked me to review the Mars Rover but I'm so rover it aka I don't know shit about the Mars Rover other than the Mohawk guy what's he doing there at NASA? NASA's getting cool! speaking of things landing properly I decided to go with women's gymnastics instead cause that's something I know about Champions of so today I'm going to review the U.S. Women's Olympic Gymnastics Team, otherwise known as the Fab Five. Oh, look at them! This looks like a perfectly diverse casting for an ABC Family show about a group of runaways who all somehow meet up with each other and discover that they're all very good at gymnastics. So they get a homeless man who used to coach the Russians to coach them into Olympic glory and they end up beating I got a text so let's break down these characters first we got Jordan Weaver she's like the older one that's like super cute just like can't catch a fucking break she's the one that like when you go to theme parks like and you're all on the roller coaster and everyone's having a great time she's the one that gets a bird that flies into her face she's like like all the girls go to the food court and everyone gets like uh, Chinese food and fried rice and those little styrofoam tins and you sit down and you open your styrofoam tin and everyone's got their food but Jordan's got like a dead ferret in hers. That's like Jordan. Then there's Allie Reisman who beat out Jordan to get into the Olympic all around. She's the kind of girl that works really hard and everything works out for her but she's really emotional about everything. She's like the kind of girl that just like cries thinking about Vampire Diaries. She's like the kind of girl that would like think about having every one of her friends over for a sleepover and just cry at the beauty of that idea. She's like the kind of girl that would just like see someone else crying and cry. That's Allie. Then there's Michaela Maroney. She is known for being like the best vault er in the world, but in the individual event finals, she fell on her butt. She's also known to me as having the hugest bitch face I've ever seen. She's the kind of girl that would be like, cute outfit. She's like the kind of girl that was like, great floor routine. She's like the kind of girl that's like, I have to go to the bathroom. That's Michaela. Then there's Gabby Douglas. Oh my god. Adorable, talented. She won the all around. She won the team gold. All good things happen to Gabby. She's like the kind of girl that like, drops her phone and the phone doesn't break. In fact, somehow the battery gets charged. She's like the kind of girl that accidentally gets pregnant and then because she so loves God, decides to keep the baby and then when she has the baby, it's not a baby that comes out, it's just a bag of money and beauty products. That's Gabby. Lastly, Kyla Ross. She's kind of forgettable. Overall, I give the US women's gymnastic team Four and three-fourths Grace face. I give them five if they were old enough to have a shot of Bailey's with me. And if any of them were over five foot three. <laughs> Bye! Team Champions of Fight!